The Ulu Project investigates the diverse cultures of Alaska Native peoples and their relations to the land and sea. We explore aspects of food and culture through the perspectives of both experts and everyday people and film the series in three locations, Nome, Sitka, and Anchorage, Alaska. I joke with my engineering classmates, you know, about being native and growing up in a rural community, but there really is uh, sometimes a negative uh, perception of uh, someone who is native and comes from a rural community. Uh, so I had to, I had to, uh, you know, think about that and um, really uh, choose the way that I present myself uh, to people who weren't familiar with uh, students that were coming for from rural communities so that definitely was a huge challenge it was it was tough for a while because I um, I felt bad being a native because there was a lot of negative things in the villages. Like that's when um, suicides and stuff started becoming more frequent, and um, just the environment we were in seemed to be more negative than what life should be like. And then when I got out of the village and I started um, getting my own, my own self-esteem and um, started seeing value in myself and our people, then I started realizing um, I had the wrong outlook on um, my traditional culture and our people and it wasn't because of my own outlook it was because of the environment in the village and community and that's how it um, came out to be and so when I got older and I went to college I started um, learning doing stuff together with our family putting away food that has um, changed the whole outlook on how I feel about being proud of who I am and being a um, native person and I'm very proud to be native. I do. I, I draw a lot of strength from knowing my ancestors history and my culture and I, I don't really know where I would be without it today. My elders particularly have instilled in me this really strong belief in respect. Respect for your culture, your land, your fellows, and most of all, respect for yourself. Because if you can't respect yourself, you really can't respect anything else. Now, some of the underlying catalysts for me is actually the fact that I'm in my mid to late 30s and I'm kind of trying to grasp at what, what it is to be Alaska Native. And for me, I kind of thought that was I don't, I don't know how to say it exactly, but just, you know, I, I never engage in my culture in the sense of like a traditional way. I don't hunt, I don't fish, I don't dance, I don't sing, but I realize that at the core values of being Alaska Native, um, it's contributing to your community. And I do that as a chef and a professional. And I think that some of the work that I'm, that's, you know, some of the biggest gratitude for me is that I get to be who I am. I'm contributing in a positive way and I'm actually embracing my, the food culture. Um, and bringing it forward a little bit. And I have every intention uh, to have my daughter know who she is.